See, uh, there has been one specific norm change done by RBI, which is what we call as daily stamping of NPA. So what RBI has said is that, you know, uh, on the strictly on the 90th day, the mo before you close your account, you need to stamp that particular account as NPA. Now, what was happening was that, you know, NBFCs tend to be a bit flexible because depending on the cash flow needs of the borrower. So we were not strictly going by the daily end, but a month end. So if somebody's, you know, due date falls on 21st and today is the 90th day, I will stretch it to the end of the month. If he repays, then we would accommodate. But now that is all gone. Next provision is that once an account turns an NPA, in order to upgrade it back to standard, so if the due amount is say rupees 100, including principal, interest, etc. Earlier, even if he paid 60, 70 rupees, that means he came below 90 DPD, we would upgrade him to the standard account. Now RBI says no, unless he repays the entire 100 rupees, only then you can upgrade. So what this would ultimately result in, that the NPA tag will come strictly at the end of the 90th day and it will get prolonged unless he repays everything. So NPA meaning the, the, the credit availability will be a big challenge. Nobody would like to look at. So I think considering the flexibility and the fragility of the cash flows of MSMEs, it is important to build in an element of flexibility in the norms. So that is, I think, going to be a challenge and that has kicked in from 1st October. So I think it's going to have an impact going ahead. See, it's very significant. If you look at, you know, world over, leasing is extensively used as a tool for capital formation, for asset creation. And any entity, any venture, somebody starts new, obviously there is one capex requirement. And I think leasing is a perfect example. But unfortunately, leasing in India initially suffered because of the taxation policies. There was dual taxation. That got corrected by the advent of GST. However, still, even under the GST regime, there is no incentive to lease. You know, today, even under the GST regime, whether I buy an asset directly or take it on lease, the rates of GST are the same. So there needs to be some element of incentive brought in. Yeah, see, so, you know, I often say, if you ask me truly, you know, both MSMEs and NBFCs are actually kind of, you know, made for each other. Because NBFC's business model has always been catering to the unbanked or the underbanked segment of the society. And, and on the other hand, the smaller MSMEs or the small businesses have always faced challenges availing bank credit. So I think it's a perfect match. And that is where NBFC's having that element of you know, personal touch and uh, flexibility cater to the needs of the MSMEs. And we, if we see the trends over the years, you know, the trends show that NBFC's role in MSME funding is increasing by leaps and bounds. And, and as we go ahead, I think this is going to increase further. <music>